Hi, everybody. My name is Miss Pat, and uh, I'm glad you're here. You may have your PJs on or not. I have I have on my nighty, um, but we're ready for stories and ready for story time. And I'll give you a clue. Um, our stories today are going to be about one of the animals that we sang about on that song, Old MacDonald Had a Farm. We'll, we'll look at that in a minute. But first, we've got to get our story candle started. And most of you know about the story candle. It's not real. And when we light the candle, it's time to listen with your ears and look with your eyes. And we have a special way to blow it out when we're finished. Okay? Are you ready for the candle? I am. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, there we are. Okay, and the next thing we do is get your fingers ready. Can I see some real wiggly fingers? Okay, good, and here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Good. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Now up your tummy. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right up to your chin. Open up your mouth. Don't let them in. Hide your fingers away. Good. Up your tummy again. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right up to your cheeks. Open up your eyes so wide and through your fingers. Peek. Peekaboo. I see you. Okay, open, shut them again. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap. And we're set. Well, if you remember, a couple of weeks ago, we sang that song, Old MacDonald Had a Farm. And here's Old MacDonald. There he is, the farmer. And we'll just do a couple of animals, and then, but we'll get to the one that we're going to be looking at today. Okay, let's sing together. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm, he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O, with a cluck, cluck here and a cluck, cluck there, here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck, cluck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Now here comes the animal we're going to see today. On his farm, he had a pig. E-I-E-I-O, with a oink, oink here, and a oink, oink there, here, a oink, there, a oink, everywhere, a oink, oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. We'll sing about some of the other animals another time, but today is going to be Pig Day. Pig Day. Pigs. So there are a lot of wonderful books about pigs. Um, and you know the library is open now so that you can come in and browse and borrow books. But I'm just going to show you a few. I'm sure a lot of you know Olivia. Olivia the pig. She's quite a character. And there are several books about Olivia. And there are also several books about a pig called Pig Pig. There's Pig Pig. That's a lot more about him. And I know some of you know the story about the three little pigs. And here is, this is a, um, a smaller book. And this is another one, The Three Little Pigs. And that's a, that's a wonderful story. I'm sure most of you know that story. We'll be having that again um, another time. And then this is a funny one. You know the story about the three little pigs, and this one's called The True Story About the Three Little Pigs, and this is told by the wolf. It's the story told from his point of view, and it, it's, it's silly, so you might want to look for that. Okay, well, the one I picked out for today is silly. It's about a pig. And he gets really, really hot, and you'll see what he does. It's called 
A Pig in the Pond, and it's by Martin Waddell. And he's done a lot of good books. I like, I like his books. Okay, The Pig in the Pond. <laughs> this is the story of Nelligan's pig. Nelligan is the farmer. And here is his pig. One day, Nelligan went into town. It was hot. It was dry. And Nelligan's pig sat by Nelligan's pond. And the ducks went quack. And the geese went honk. And the good, and they were cool in the water on Nelligan's pond. And when we come to quacking and honking, I hope you'll quack and honk with me. The pig sat in the sun, and she looked at the pond, and the ducks went quack, and the geese went honk, and the pig said oink, and she didn't go into the water because pigs don't swim. And the pig sat in the sun, getting hotter and hotter, and the ducks went quack, quack, and the geese went honk, honk, and the pig went oink, oink. But she didn't go in the water because pigs don't swim. The pig gulped and gasped and looked at the water. And the ducks went quack, quack, quack. And the geese went honk, honk, honk. And the pig went oink, oink, oink. And then she got up from the ground and she turned around and around. And she jumped on her feet. And she twirled her tail and splash in she jumped. Splash, 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 splash. The ducks and the geese were all splashed right out of the pond. The ducks went quack, 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 quack. And the geese went honk, 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 which means very loudly, the pigs in the pond. 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 At Nelligan's farm, the pig is in the pond. Well, from the fields all around, all the animals came to see the pig in the pond at Nelligan's farm. And then Nelligan came on his cart. There's the farmer. There's Nelligan. Nelligan looked at the pig in the pond, and the pig said, oink. And Nelligan took off his hat. Nelligan looked at the pig in the pond, and the pig went, oink, oink. And Nelligan took off his pants and his boots. And Nelligan looked at the pig in the pond, and the pig said, Oink, oink, oink. And Nelligan took off his shirt. And then Nelligan looked at the pig in the pond, and the pig said, oink, 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 oink. And Nelligan took off his underwear, and splash! Nelligan joined the pig in the pond. And then, sploosh! All the animals jumped in the pond, too. They all joined the pig in the pond. And that was the story of Nelligan's pig. The pig in the pond. It's a good one, isn't it? So that's one of many pig books that you can find in the library.
good. Well, let's stand up and, well, let's just sing our happy song. We can stand up in a minute, okay? I think everybody knows this. And you can make up more verses on your own. You can do that. Okay. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Good. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. Let's stand up. If you're happy and you know it, rub your tummy. Mm. If you're happy and you know it, rub your tummy. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, rub your tummy. Let's wag our tails. You don't have a tail? Well, just pretend. Okay. If you're happy and you know it, wag your tail. If you're happy and you know it, wag your tail. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, wag your tail. Let's see what good jumpers you are. If you're happy and you know it, jump up high. Good. If you're happy and you know it, jump up high. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, jump up high. Good. If you're happy and you know it, turn around slowly. Don't get dizzy. If you're happy and you know it, turn around. Good. Okay. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, turn around. Okay. And let's clap real fast this time. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Excellent. Very good. Okay. And before we blow our candle out, let's just remember that story of the three little pigs. And we're not going to read the whole thing, but let's just remember it because next time I hope that we'll... Uh, We'll look at it. If you remember, um, it's a story about three little pigs that leave their mother, and she's very happy, hard, uh, very sad to see them go, and they're going to build houses. The first pig meets a, a man with a big cart full of straw, and he gets the straw, and he builds a house made of straw, but who comes along? A wolf. And he said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the pig said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And the wolf said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he did. He blew the house down. So the second little pig met a man with some nice sticks. And he built himself a house made of sticks. And along came Mr. Wolf. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And what, is, what does the pig say? Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And the wolf said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he did. Well, the third pig found a man with a cart full of bricks. And he built himself a nice strong brick house. But you see who's peeking in the window? That wolf. And he said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the pig said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And that wolf huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but he could not blow that house in. Now, I'm not going to go and go to the end of the story, but if you want to find out, the library has a few different editions of the three little pigs, and we'll be having one uh, another time at our story time. So those are two more pig books. And I forgot one. Uh, I bet some of you know the books about Elephant and Piggy. Those are wonderful books. So that's something else to look for. Okay, so we've had some good pig, some big, some good pig stories, and, and uh, 
you, you can find more pig stories when you come. All right, we're going to get ready to blow out the story candle. And um, I'll give you a minute if you'd like to make a wish. You don't have to. Grown-ups, you too. Um, I'm going to make a wish. But remember, if you do make a wish, don't tell your wish. Just keep it up in your head. And um, I'm just thinking about my wish. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Story candle, bright and gay. Grant the wish I make today. Let's get ready to blow. Keep on blowing. Keep blowing. Grown-ups, help us blow. A little bit more. Keep blowing. Wonderful. You're good listeners, good blowers. You're good at wagging your tail, whether you have one or not. You're good. This was a good story time. I'll look forward to seeing you again. Um, things will be a little bit different um, uh, in the summertime. So keep an eye on the uh, web page, on the library web web page, and and uh, there will be lots of uh, publicity about things that will be coming up again um, very soon. So thanks for being with me and come to the library and get some wonderful books to take home with you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.